with a convenient pop-up irrigation system. The Gardena sprinkler system. Permanently installed underground, it's ideal for watering lawn areas. Computer controlled, the system waters your garden fully automatically. The sprinkler system is a complete range from sprinklers through piping to the electronic control products. Expertise from Gardena. The heart of the irrigation system, the pop-up sprinklers S80 and S8300. And the turbo-driven pop-up sprinklers T100, T200 and T380. The sprinkler range is completed by the pop-up oscillating sprinkler R140 and the programmable Aquacontour automatic pop-up sprinkler, the specialist for individually shaped areas. Ideal for smaller areas is the pop-up sprinkler S80. It has a piston stroke of 10 centimeters and a range of 2.5 to 5 meters. You adjust the range with this screw. The watering sector is infinitely adjustable from 5 to 360 degrees for use in corners, at borders and in the middle of the lawn. You adjust the spray direction simply by turning the sprinkler piston. For watering plant beds in the lawn there's the pop-up sprinkler S8300. Its range can be adjusted from 2.5 to 5 meters. With its stroke of 30 centimeters, it's ideal for watering over taller plants. As with the S80 pop-up sprinkler, the watering sector is infinitely adjustable between 5 and 360 degrees. The spray direction is easy to change thanks to a special adjusting mechanism. For combined use on larger lawn areas, Gardena offers the turbo-driven pop-up sprinklers T100, T200 and T380. For smaller lawns, the turbo-driven pop-up sprinkler T100 is the right solution. It has a piston stroke of 8 centimeters and a range of 6 meters which you can reduce to 3 meters with this adjusting screw. The watering sectors are infinitely adjustable from 70 to 360 degrees. Here also you can adjust the spray direction simply by rotating the sprinkler piston. For medium-sized part areas, the T200 turbo-driven pop-up sprinkler is ideal. It has a range of 8 meters, which you can reduce to 5 meters. For larger lawn areas, there's the turbo-driven pop-up sprinkler T380. It has a range of 11 meters, which can be reduced to 6 meters. The T200 and T380 sprinklers have a piston stroke of 13 centimeters. The range of both sprinklers is easily adjustable from the top. The watering sectors can be adjusted between 25 and 360 degrees via the adjusting rings fitted to the piston. In the head of the sprinkler there are four nozzles with different flow rates that can be selected from the top depending on the sector adjustment. You can therefore water uniformly using a combination of sprinklers with differently adjusted watering sectors. A special feature of the turbo-driven pop-up sprinklers T200 and T380 is the integrated memory function. If the sprinkler head is accidentally turned, it automatically reverts to its original watering sector. For rectangular areas, there's the special pop-up oscillating sprinkler. 
Its watering area can be adjusted between 12 and 140 square meters. With these controls you can individually adjust the sprinkling width and range. The sprinkler direction is easy to adjust. Simply rotate the sprinkler head. The Gardena turbo-driven pop-up sprinklers and the pop-up oscillating sprinkler have similar water flow rates. And that's why they can be combined in any way you want, a unique feature of the Gardena sprinkler system. For individual lawns, there's the multi-area pop-up sprinkler Aquacontour Automatic. The variable range with up to 50 programmable key contour points makes selective area coverage possible. The sprinkler can cover a maximum area of 350 square meters. Its watering sector can be adjusted between 25 and 360 degrees, which means that it can also be used at the borders of lawn areas. A special feature of the joints and connectors is the unique quick and easy simple connection technology. You can ensure a pressure proof joint or disconnect again simply by turning the connector 140 degrees. For connecting the pipes a variety of fittings are available. For pipe branches there are T-pieces. For changes of direction L-joints. For extending lines there are straight connectors and to close a line, end pieces. You connect sprinklers along the pipe run via T-pieces, in corners via angle pieces, and at the end of the pipe via an L-joint. The sprinkler system is connected to the water supply via a tap or a direct connection to the water main. For connection to a tap, you use the water connecting point. It provides a click-on, click-off connection to your tap. For direct connection to the building water main, you use the connectors with internal or external threads. To avoid any danger of drinking water contamination, be sure to observe local installation regulations. Important for all systems in areas where there's a risk of frost, drain valves. They're installed at the lowest point of the system and open automatically when the water supply is turned off. Thus ruling out any risk of frost damage. Now you're familiar with the Gardena system modules, you can start planning your system. Start by making a scale drawing of the garden or grounds with the locations and ranges of the sprinklers. For rectangular areas, there's the special pop-up oscillating sprinkler. For individually shaped areas, the intelligent pop-up sprinkler Aqua Contour Automatic is ideal. For areas of any other shape, you use circular sprinklers. You can cover the corners with 90 degree or 270 degree sprinklers, the borders with 180 degrees or other part sectors. When arranging your sprinklers, note that turbo-driven pop-up sprinklers and pop-up oscillating sprinklers can be connected together to a single line. The pop-up sprinklers S80 and S80-300 have higher flow rates and need a supply line of their own. To establish how many sprinklers you can connect per supply line, you need to calculate the connection value of your water main. To do this, turn the tap on fully and then fill a 10 litre bucket. Time how many seconds it takes. If you're planning to operate the system with a pump, time how long it takes to fill the bucket through a pipe about 1 metre long which will later supply the system. If you haven't yet got a pump, you can find out the filling times of Gardena pumps beforehand from our customer service department. Now note down the connection value in the Gardena planning brochure. To determine the number of lines, you need the sprinkler consumption values given in the planning guide. Copy these values into your sketch. Connect only as many sprinklers to a line as you can without exceeding the connection value.
Now transfer the number of sprinklers, pipes and connectors to the shopping list in your Gardena planning brochure. You can perfect your Gardena sprinkler system with automatic control. If you operate the system via one watering line, use a Gardena water computer. For controlling several watering lines, you have the following options. The 4040 modular irrigation control system for controlling up to four valves or lines via cables. With the 2040 expansion modules, the controller can be expanded for connection of up to 12 valves. With the 4040 modular irrigation control system, you can also control a pump. Alternatively, you can opt for cordless control. The Gardena programming unit allows you to program any number of watering valves individually. To take the soil moisture level into account, Gardena offers a soil moisture sensor which you connect to the watering control system. By turning this knob, you set the desired moisture level. In the same way, you can combine a rain sensor with your system. If it starts raining, the rain sensor prevents or interrupts automatic watering. Economical watering is thus ensured. Once you've purchased all the parts on your shopping list, you can start installing your Gardena sprinkler system. First, lay out all the components according to your plan. Cut the pipes to length and connect the components. Be careful not to let any soil get into the pipelines. Then test the system. Set the spray directions, the watering sectors and the desired ranges on the sprinklers. Next, it's advisable to remove the dirt filters built into the sprinklers and, if necessary, clean them. Then, with a spade, cut a V-shaped about 20 to 25 cm deep recess in the lawn. Take off the turf and dig out the trench. Remove any stones. Place a seepage layer of gravel beneath the drain valves. This improves drainage and helps prevent contamination of the valves. Now place the complete pipeline system with the sprinklers in the trench. Afterwards, fill the trench again, replace the turf and compact it firmly. Now even the lawnmower can't harm your system. Next, you only need to turn the system on. Once it's running, check and adjust the ranges and watering sectors one last time. Now you can relax and let the Gardena sprinkler system water your garden.